Hey guys, so I'm back. I just got back from the gym, as you can tell by my horrible, sweaty, yuck hair. Clothes, sorry, get rid of them. Um, obviously, I'm just doing the last minute washing before I leave next week to go to Australia. Um, I'm very excited. I can't believe it's coming really quickly. It's like a week to go. A little bit more than a week, about nine days, but anyway. Um, that's my heater. I just turned my heater on the first time this year I've turned my heater on. It's been really cold. Um, so I decided just going to turn it on. Just do it. My hamsters are probably freezing. They're probably frozen dead. Um, but they have their heat pads, so they should be okay. I hope they're okay. Make Adam's job easier when I leave. He won't have to look after them. Anyway, let's hope they're okay. I'll check on them later tonight. <laughs> Um, but I thought I would just do this vlog right now, very quickly. Um, just talk about my day, because it's been a while since I've talked about my day. A while since I've done a vlog as well, so... Excuse me, and the blinking light up above. Um, the one thing I've failed to upkeep in this house are the fluorescent tubes in the lights. And so... My kitchen one has only got two bars left out of six. And this one only has two bars left out of five. And the fourth one is flickering. So I need someone tall to come in here and fix them. Um, also, I have to measure them and get the right size tube. It's going to be a mission. I might do it when I actually come home from Australia. Let's see. Anyway, um, so back to my day. Today I went to my favorite school, Negishi Elementary School, Negishi Shogako. And um, I had year five, which is nice. Um, I don't have as much of a rapport with the kids in terms of length of relationship and stuff, but I feel I get along with them just as well as the as the um, sixth graders. They are really ganky, um, really outgoing, and they always ask me to come out and play sports with them. Uh, this is the first year level of any school that's asked me to come out and play with them. And so now every lunchtime whenever I have fifth grade, they ask me to come and play. Um, usually I go outside and do dodgeball. They asked me again today to do dodgeball and I was like, mm, I don't really want to go outside. It's cold. As you can see, I've got a scarf on. Um, and I was just like, mm, no. And then one of the girls suggested, oh, we can go. And they were like, daikon, daikon, which is like Japanese radish. And they're like, oh, oh, like pull. And I thought, oh, we're going to go pull radishes. I mean, it's, yeah, it's outside, but I don't have to be out in the wind so much I go and pull a radish and come back inside right wrong I got dressed up in my nice jumper that I have on now and my scarf and I was actually going to take my iPad because I wanted to record pulling daikons out of the um out of the ground but instead of going outside we end up going up three floors to this large um wooden floor room that's polished floor where in summertime we have English class. We sit out there, it's nice and cool, we open up all the windows, it's a nice airy space. And I see all the girls lined up along one side of the wall. They're sitting down and their arms are linked. Um, and they're like, oh, Oni, Oni, who's the Oni? I was like, Oni, if you don't know, is devil in Japanese, uh, demon. Um, and I was like, okay, so this is a game. We're not actually picking radishes. Right. Okay. So we did junk and battle to figure out who was going to be um, the demon, the devil, the oni. Um, so I wasn't the oni. I was one of the others. So I had to sit down on the floor with my legs out straight, my arms linked with the other girls, these little year five girls. And so we're sitting there and um, they're like, okay, ready, go. And the oni, the devil, started grabbing our feet, like our ankles, around our ankles, and pulling pulling us. I was like, what? The devil is pulling radishes out of the ground. Literally. And the whole aim of the game was to get as many of the radishes, which are us, interlocked, um, from one side of the room to the other. And once um, the devil got one radish from one side to the other, that radish became a demon as well and could participate in pulling people. So you can just imagine the mayhem. There was like ten girls or something. And we're, they're screaming. I was screaming too. I couldn't help it. It was just hilarious. And they're just pulling each other across the room, like sliding on their butt, like along this polished floor. 
Then they come to me. By the time they get to me, eventually someone starts pulling my legs. And I tickled at first. They're like grabbing around my ankles. And I only have ankle socks on. So they were touching my bare skin. And I was like giggling and laughing. Every time I moved, they were like, oh crap, we don't want to hurt the teacher. And it was so funny. I was like, God, just go for it. I don't care. Um, they couldn't pull me, of course. I'm overweight as it is. But I'm a big foreigner. There's no way they're going to pull me across the room, right? Right. <laughs> There's no wrong to this story. They couldn't do it. They got me halfway across the room and then gave up. I was just that poofed. Um, it was funny as. So I was the last one in. So therefore, I was then the only. Um, and I had to pull. Kids, excuse me while I get the dust out of my eyes. Um, and then I had to pull the kids across the room and um, turn them into demons as well. Well, me being the big hefty foreigner that I am very easy to pull eight or nine um little year five Japanese kids across oh, I have a pimple right there on my nose that's gross I'm um, sorry um pulling about eight Japanese girls little year five girls across the room on their butts like pulling them by their legs so funny I got a, I think I got four across in one go because you're not allowed to let go of your arms unless like you're pulled apart right so I think I got four across in one go. And I think I had it done in like not even a minute. It was that easy. Um, so then it was back back again to um, me sitting down on the floor again. This time it was a little bit harder. They didn't get a single one of us across. So I think we we worked the strategy out in the end. Um, thing was the girls were using English the whole time. It was so funny. It was like, help me, help me if you're getting pulled away and... I'd be saying no, and then if they were over the other side, I'd be bye bye and all this stuff. They loved it. They had a great time, and um, it was really fun because usually I play dodgeball with the guys outside on the oval, and I don't do a lot of talking with them. I just sort of like they're like, yeah, you're on that team, go and play over there. Like they're more excited about that, obviously, but um, yeah, I don't do a lot of talking. So I'm concentrating where the ball is, make sure I don't get hit. Oh, that pimple's disgusting. Um, so. Yeah, it was nice with the girls today. But the thing was, it was hot. They actually had the heaters on um, at Nagishi. And so we were running around and getting dragged around and pulling girls around. I was that hot. And I had all this rug on, remember? I had my jumper and my um, scarf on. I was that hot. And they're like, oh, you don't have to go downstairs to go to um, go to the office before you come to class. Just come up to class because it was their, their class next that I was teaching. So I'm up there with no materials, and I am pouring sweat. I am that hot and gross. And they're like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to sleep <laughs> after pulling kids around. Um, but it was fun. It was a great lesson. And then into the lesson, um, it was so funny, because we're doing the uh, Egonoto book one, chapter six, I think it is, the Guy Ligo which is um, foreign words that they use and they actually write in katakana here. So banana, um, tomato, piano, glove, calendar, soccer ball, TV, that sort of stuff. Um, funny thing was there's two Australian animals in there, kangaroo and koala. We would have figured, right? Anyway, um, there's one boy in the class called... Uh, Kego or Ken Kengo Kengo was his name. Sorry, and the way I was saying it with my Australian accent, I say kangaroo, kangaroo. So like, oh, Kengo, and so all the kids in the class automatically dub this boy in the class. His his new nickname is kangaroo. The poor kid, he goes red in the face. He's so embarrassed that he's being named after a kangaroo. Um. So then when we're playing the um, Keshi Gomu um, Eraser keyword game, that's it. Sorry, I forget. Because some of my teachers call it the Keshi Gomu game. <coughs> oh, excuse the sneeze. Um, anyway, and when we're playing that, um, the key one of the keywords was kangaroo. And um, every time I would say kangaroo and the kids had to repeat it, they would crack up. They thought it was the funniest thing. And this one kid, Kengo, he's like... Sitting there, he's just like laughing at himself. He's just like, oh my gosh. 
What have I done? I'm sure he will not be dubbed Kangaroo for the rest of his life. Um, hopefully I'll remember his face next time and be able to go back and call him Kangaroo. Because kids like that when you remember things, I think. So, um, my question for today is at 10 minutes. Um, what games do you play with your kids during, um, Hiru Yasumi, um, lunchtime break? Um, do you have any weird ones like my Daikon Picking Oni game? Or do you play normal ones like Dodgeball? Um, I'd be really interested to hear for those Jets out there who are watching this vlog, uh, what games you play with your kids. Um, if you are not in school here in Japan, you're not a Jet, um, what games do you remember as a kid? Sorry, now I have a runny nose because I sneezed. Ah. Gross. Okay, we're going through the motions here. Um, what games did you play as a kid that were really weird, really strange, um, made up games? Like, I'm assuming the Daikon Oni pulling game is made up. Um, tell me about it. Comments below. Um, also, if you want to see any videos, if you want to ask me anything about Jet, um, I'm happy to make a video about things. I know applications are due in the 1st of December. So, um, good luck to those people applying. Um, if you have any questions before or after that process, leave comments below. I'm happy to make videos. I Give me things to talk about. I don't care. Um, so, yeah. I need to clean my house because I have people coming over tomorrow to work on adult Eikaiwa, adult conversation class. So, on that note, I will put on my dinner and I will go clean. Have a good night. Bye-bye.